Hi everybody, it's me, Corey T, and in this video I want to talk about how not to lose yourself in the process of manifesting a relationship, a specific person, or if you have manifested a relationship and a specific person or either, and you're in that relationship now, what you don't want to do is lose yourself. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because it is such a topic that is close to me because it is exactly what I did. And so I really struggled with this. I was so obsessed with manifesting um, my specific person. And there have been times where I have felt like I just didn't know who I was anymore. I got completely warped in my relationship to the point where it felt like at one point when I realised, oh my God, I've lost myself so much. And I started waking up from this crazy dream that I was in and thinking, where did I go? Where where did I go and where am I now? You know, what's happened to my life? Where are all the things that I was doing that were making me feel amazing before that I'd stopped doing? It's like what I did was I became who I thought I needed to be for the relationship to work, which obviously I knew on some level was the wrong thing to do. I had all of those feelings that were saying, no, don't do that. But I did it anyway because I felt very insecure and so what I really want to inspire you to do is to hold on to yourself. Hold on to the things that make you feel like you. Hold on to all of those things that you're doing, especially if you're single and, you know, you're doing things that actually um, you enjoy, you're seeing friends and um, engaging in your hobbies and your passions and things like that. You've got to hold on to them no matter what. And actually you've got to commit to doing them every single week. Um, and especially know that when you create a relationship, those things are so important for the relationship to work. Okay, so that's your motivation to, to keep doing them. Because if you lose your sense of self, then the relationship will really struggle. That's when, what happened to me actually was that I really, uh, I was doing a lot of music and I've started doing a lot of music again now. But, oh my God, when I, I, I got into the relationship and it's like all of that stuff just went out the window and I became a different person and I didn't mean to. And so you have to forgive yourself if this happens to you because I've had to forgive myself for losing myself like I did. Um, but I just, I, I felt like I was living someone else's life and it made me feel very confused about the relationship. And then I started blaming the relationship. It was the relationship's fault that I was unhappy. It was my partner's fault that I was unhappy. When really we're all responsible for our own happiness, right? And I had just stopped doing so many of the things that actually were making me feel balanced, grounded, uh, secure within myself. I had adjusted so much to what he wanted. To the point where, you know, at the beginning of our relationship, I was doing things like not speaking up if I didn't want to watch a certain thing. So I hate violence, right? I absolutely hate violence. And I hate watching anything that is remotely violent. I've walked out of cinemas before if someone got shot or if a horse got shot. <laughs> Bye, I'm going, can't watch the rest of this. Honestly, I, I find it really hard. But at the beginning of our relationship, I went and bloody watched Game of Thrones. What? That is completely not what I would do. I wouldn't do that. I didn't want to watch Game of Thrones. In fact, most of the time I sat there like this, trying not to watch it, but grinning and bearing it because I felt like he would be disappointed if I didn't watch it. You know, that sort of thing chips away at you. It really does. It chips away at your personality and your sense of self. And that might seem like a little thing, but it's actually a big thing to the point where, you know, when I realised, oh my God, what am I doing? It felt like a big deal for me to say, I'm sorry, I don't want to watch that. It's not a big deal. It's just me saying, I don't want to watch that. And then eventually it wasn't a big deal because I kept doing it. And, and now, you know, um, that, that is something that is so easy. In fact, speaking up and saying what I want, saying how I feel about things has become easier and easier and easier with time. Um, and it, at first it was scary because my self-esteem and I was so insecure 
that I just felt like I had to do what he wanted to do because I was scared of not being accepted. I was scared of um, me not being loved for who I am, really. And that is what so many people experience and feel when they're wanting to create a relationship. And actually, um, it has taken me, even now, I'm still refinding myself. And so this is why I'm really warning you not to do what I did. It's it's still taking me time to reconnect to um, the person that I am now. Because I'm never going to be the person that I was before the relationship anymore. Because life has changed. I'm a mother now as well. So everything's different. So finding yourself when life has evolved so much is like refinding yourself again. But if you lose yourself completely in the process, it's really hard um, to dig your way out of that. And it creates arguments, it creates uh, conflict, confusion, um, depression. Honestly, you don't want to go through all of that. So I am giving you a gift of ins trying to inspire you to hold on for dear life, like the most important thing in the world is you and your self-love, right? Because um, it is true. Your, your relationship with yourself will dictate all of the other relationships in your life, okay? So focus like it is the biggest priority on you being happy and feeling good about you. The rest will fall into place. The rest will fall around you with ease, okay? Including um, the people that you're wanting to create in your life and, and everything else, but you will feel better and stronger and more confident if you hold on to your sense of self. It's honestly like the biggest cause of relationships breaking up and ending is when you lose your sense of self. And um, it's, it's really, really hard um, to go through that. So, yeah, it's been a process with, with me and Johnny. And the thing is that, that's kept us together, I suppose, is that I've had the awareness I've had the awareness of, oh my God, look what I did. I lost myself and now I have to consciously find myself. And, you know, that's my job. That's that's a me thing. That's what I have to do. And I have to do it with or without him. We're together now and I have had to work really hard at um, doing things that I want to do and being the person that I want to be in my life and in this relationship. And so get good at practicing that you know, in the process, because when I was manifesting my uh, relationship, it just took over my life, it just took over, um, I was so obsessed with it, but actually looking back, when I was in Italy especially, I was really doing that for a, a solid three months, I was just really obsessed with thinking about that and nothing else, and I was depressed and it was awful, um, but then I started doing things like I um, made a music video, I um, went out and started speaking Italian to people, I got to know the community around there. All of those things just made me feel so much better and gave me my own experience, which I really hold dear to me now. And that is when things started actually shifting in, in our connection, when I was doing more things for myself. And then when the relationship came and I was actually in the relationship, I lost myself again because I just didn't have the awareness that I have now. Um, so don't do what I did. Do what I did and also don't do what I did. Do what I did when it comes to like actually, you know, doing things for you, be creative, have fun with your friends, but then don't do what I did, which is when the relationship happens and you're in a relationship, don't only focus on that. Don't give up on the things that you've been creating for self-love. You have to keep them. They're sacred and they will keep your relationship together and they will make it much better. So I hope this video has been useful to you. If you've got any questions about the Conscious Creators Masters Academy, which is starting in January, let me know, send me an email or a direct message. We can book a 30 minute one-to-one uh, -one to find out about you, where you're at and if this course is right for you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.